you don't want the smoke They go right to your nose Then straight to the dome Now you a ghost I swear you a joke Yo, what's good with y'all boys, man? It's the homie Jojo back for another video And today we gonna be talking about if Travis Scott ruined Sofago's career It's been a topic that's been buzzing inside the underground lately So I decided to get my thoughts and opinions on it Now before we get into the video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe for more hip hop content all the time. You don't want to miss out on it. So share it to a friend, family member, whoever. Also follow the Instagram at Jojo Scout underscore. Tune in because we posting clips from the channels as real. So I want everybody to go show me love on that. But yeah, man, no time to waste. Let's get right into it. Okay, boys. So I made a similar video talking about if Sofago signing a Travis was a mistake about a month or two ago. And inside the video, I was like, yeah, it was because he didn't have to do nothing with the Astro Festival. Why should he be suffering, you know what I'm saying, for the whole entire situation? And I low-key still do stand on that situation just because he could have been so bigger if that situation hadn't that happened because it would have been all gas, no brakes. That's just like if Yeet was to stop dropping out of nowhere after he dropped Get Busy. You feel me? Where would he be? Where he have all this hype? Where have all these fans? No, he wouldn't. Same as Sofago. I don't understand why he took that big of a break after Knock Knock. Now, if you guys want me to answer the question simply off of, do I believe that Travis Scott ruined his career? I wouldn't necessarily say that he ruined it, but he definitely, and all emphasis on this, he slowed down Sofago's career 100%. Sofago was supposed to be bigger than Yeet at the moment. And that's literally a fact. He's supposed to be way bigger than Yeet. Travis Scott not letting Sofago drop music consistently because he had this little situation going on most definitely slowed down the fans from coming in, the money from coming in, and you know what I'm saying, just progress, you know what I'm saying? The fans are supposed to let you know if they're rocking with the new music. Now, that whole entire effect side of it slowed down too. Like, I'm telling you, he didn't ruin his career, but he most definitely slowed it down 100%. And the reason I'm saying that Travis didn't ruin Fago's career is off the simple fact that Fago still has hype around his name, he still has fans, and he's doing good low-key just because, bro, look at him. He's doing festivals, touring around the world. That's lit. And that's just off the simple fact that he was the only artist, well, the first artist to give hope to the new SoundCloud wave and the fans are grounded to him after that, bro. If it wasn't for that, bro, let's be real. He would not be where he's at right now if he wasn't the first underground artist to give hope to the new SoundCloud era. If we're being honest, dog. And don't get me wrong, Fagel's doing pretty good right now. I'm just saying he can be doing way better. And that's a fact, man. So yes, Travis Scott is delaying his career, but I feel like eventually he's still gonna get there. So there's nothing to trip about. Sometimes I do believe some artists should come up slow just so they gain their fan base organically. And you know what I'm saying? Because if you get the fans mad fast, they gonna leave mad fast too. So it's kind of a, you know what I'm saying? Iffy situation low key. But it kind of seems like they're getting into the dropping routine because he did drop a little EP before pink you feel me and a whole entire another project had leaked and people think cactus jack was behind it i'm low-key gonna talk about that in one of my next videos so stay on the lookout for that man but yeah Fago seems like he's gonna be dropping very soon and i hope after he drops pink hearts he can start dropping you know what i'm saying consistently get inside the traction you know what i'm saying that groove and then who knows bro maybe his career is just gonna go 10 times further you know what i'm saying where it's supposed to be and you know me, bro. I want to see everybody eat and win just because, bro, you got to love it, bro. It's music. This is what we all came here to see, right? People succeed, feed their family, get that bag, bro. Come on, Fago. You got this, bro. Travis Scott, hopefully you can do the right thing with Fago's career and stop slowing it down. But that's all I got to say. No hate towards none of them. They all doing good. They all, you know what I'm saying, looking out for they family and people so i can't hate but yeah gang that's it for today's video if you guys enjoyed it make sure you guys like comment and subscribe for more hip-hop content all the time you already know what's going on here bro share it to a friend family member whoever and like i said man go on my instagram at jojo scout underscore and go tap in with all of my new reels that i'm posting you guys got tea up for me and just show love on that you feel me just you know what i'm saying be the fufu gang that we all love to see you know what i 
not me, bro, but hey, tap in on Instagram. Also, if you want to get a promo on the channel, we run it up. I'll get your little buzz going or whatever. You already know what's going on, man. But just stay tuned for the new videos on the channel. It's always lit here. I promise you, no cap. If you guys don't believe me, check out the previous ones. But that's it, man. Fufu Gang, Rapper Lifestyle, Fufu Hunted. I'm out. Shawty said she coming through, she on her way to fuck It's a lot of love